Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, it's that time of year where I make people upset. I can't help it. You guys always want a top 10 worst figures of the year, so I have to do it for you. I know it just makes people mad and I get a bunch of mean comments and it hurts my feelings and it hurts their feelings and it's terrible all the way around but it's also wonderful. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. These are the top 10 worst figures by my account for the year. Mostly things that disappointed me the most and some of them were just egregiously bad. So yeah, it's very subjective. You can let me know in the comment section below which figures you think are the worst. Uh, these are the ones I came up with. I'd probably come up with a different list, at least partly if I tried again, but like I said, it's all very subjective at this point. So let's just go ahead and jump in with an honorable mention. The honorable mention is Sagat. Now the reason it's here is because I actually personally enjoy this figure a whole bunch despite its flaws, so they did something right. It's a fun figure for me, uh, but it is just absolutely riddled with issues. As you can see, he's bright orange, a lot of his joints are messed up, he's very short, there's just all kinds of problems. It is fun though, so it's bad, but I wanted to get it on the list, or it's bad, so I wanted to get it on the list, but it is fun still. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do number 10. It is Black Tom Cassidy from the Marvel Legends line. And this figure is, it's just like one of the worst Marvel Legends ever. There's, there's really nothing good about it at all. Coming in at number nine, we have the Stealth Captain America, which at first glance looks like a decent figure, but that alternate helmeted head is the stuff of nightmares, and it is by far one of the worst things they've ever produced as far as a singular item goes. So obviously this guy had to make the list, but you could obviously just not use that head if you didn't want to, and just use the body for a generic thug and you'd be fine. But that head is absolutely terrible. Speaking of terrible, let's go ahead and look at number eight. It is the Marvel Legends Morbius. I'm not gonna do all Marvel Legends. I know it sounds like it might be. It's not gonna be the case, I promise. Uh, this figure, I think a lot of people were confused or maybe I didn't say it clearly when I was reviewing it. It's not the character design that's the problem. It's the figure's interpretation of that character design. The flat kind of windswept cape, the stupid hair, the face that's nowhere near accurate, the terrible proportions. This figure is just a mess in almost every way and it's made even worse by having really nice artwork on the side of the package of the same character design which can look awesome. The figure just doesn't do it. Coming in at number seven, we have the two-pack Thunder Turd figure. And I would have been able to put this guy much higher on the list, except his saving grace is that he was bundled with an exceptional release from Hasbro. So it's not really fair, I know, but hey, it's a two-pack and I figured I'd put it on here somewhere, somehow. But this guy is one of the worst Marvel Legends of all time, strictly from a proportions perspective. It just looks like a little kid in a muscle suit with a big long neck, low shoulders, I mean, oh, oh, just looking at it now is irritating. It's probably the, one of the ugliest figures they've made. Even though the paint lines are clean and stuff like that, the figure itself is just ugly. Coming in at number six, we have the Lightning Collection Black Ranger. Now this guy's regular Ranger suit isn't too bad. The white parts are a little dingy, but otherwise it's okay. But his unhelmeted head is atrocious. It's probably one of the worst likeness sculpts we've ever seen from any line ever. There's just no getting around it. It is absolutely terrible. And those sculpts were one of the draws for this line in the first place. And if we're going to include Zack for number five, we have to include Kimberly the Pink Ranger. Now hers is actually bad in both forms. The face is absolutely dreadful. It is disgustingly bad, terrible garbage. Uh, but <laughs> if that wasn't enough, the pink on her suit is a bunch of different shades of pink and half of them are a kind of purple and it looks way worse in real life than it does on camera. This figure is a mess all the way around, but that face is just really, really terrible. In at number four, we have the Imagination Works Goku, which was supposed to be some kind of fancy upgraded high-end piece, and it turns out they didn't do very many things right at all. You can say it has some decent detail sculpt work, which is for sure. It has an overall nice aesthetic, but the articulation on this thing is disgusting. It doesn't work, and it's ugly. So much so that people keep telling me I have parts on mine assembled incorrectly. I do not. That is the way they come. It is just that bad. The silicone cone arms don't really work properly, they don't look good, they crack, 
pretty much everything about this figure is wrong except for the cloth texture and like it kind of has a nice 3D interpretation of Goku and if you don't look too close it looks really nice but for the price point looking too close shouldn't be a problem and it is this thing is one of the worst purchases for sure of the year but at least they did try in some ways so that's why it's not higher up on the list Coming in at number three, we have King Sphincter from the Power Ranger line from Hasbro. And this figure is one of the most offensively bad things I've reviewed in a long time. Only because, well mostly because, they chose to not paint the details of the face. The figure is not particularly good otherwise, but they do have a brand new sculpt here, so I was going to give them some credit, but choosing to not paint the face is entirely 100% unacceptable. It seems to be a trend with this line for them to try to cut corners and do things as cheaply as possible, but this is not acceptable. Honestly, of all of the things on this list, this is the one you should never buy, no matter what, just to show them that they can't get away with stuff like this. At least these other figures had effort put into them and it didn't work out. This one was purposeful. Unacceptable. Coming in at number two, we have the SH Figure Arts Captain America from Avengers Endgame, the final battle edition version covered in condensed milk. He's supposed to look dirty, but instead he looks like someone smeared mayonnaise all over him. I don't know what they were thinking, but dirt does not do that. Dirt does not pool in the recesses like a wash, which is how they applied it. And dirt is also not white. This is a very strange thing, and if that wasn't enough, his arms are very tiny, the sculpt is very weird, and the articulation is very bad. There's almost no- oh, he also has a droopy diaper. Also, it's just all around terrible, there's <laughs> almost nothing good about this guy, plus they changed his red to purple because he was dirty. Like, what? That doesn't- that's not how that works. Red does not turn purple when you put dirt on it. There's really nothing good about this, do not buy it. Buy any other version and you'll be better off. Coming in at number one, we have the DC Multiverse Batman from McFarlane. And this is one of their first issues in this DC line, and it is one of their worst as well. Uh, if it wasn't enough that he had a dad bod the entire way through, it's missing entire pieces of anatomy. Muscle groups are gone, proportions are just completely out the window. The head is a terrible, terrible design. It's tiny, squinty eyes, boxy. There's nothing about this looks like the source material at all. Although I will say the cape is pretty nice, but okay, so I guess not nothing. The cape is all right. But you can even see the articulation's terrible for the torso especially. It's humongous and doesn't function. And then the things they've done since then are examples of how you can do it properly, uh, with the exception of some range of motion. So if they're able to do it on one figure, they could have done it on this figure. And I don't know what happened, but somehow this figure came out just about as bad as it possibly could have short of the cape. So there it is guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you'd like to argue with me in the comment section below, you can try, I won't participate, but please do share your top 10 worst figure list and we will talk about that down there and have a good time. So make sure you do that. Uh, come back for all that other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.